Hi, my name is Konstantin Magnus. In this Houdini tutorial, we are going to convert a three-dimensional volume into a sequence of slice images using COPS and TOPS. As per usual, you can download the file on my Procygen website and you can support my work on Patreon. In a new Houdini scene, we are going to set up a geometry container along with a test geometry, so I can create a volume from the capybara. Let's disable the shader and switch the output to the muscles, which can be subdivided for more mesh resolution. I will convert it to VDBs from polygons and increase the voxel size or reduce it, but increase the voxel resolution to 0.002. Now I don't want a sign distance field, but rather a density volume, and we should also make sure to fill the interior. Let's use a volume visualization node to make the density more visible by multiplying it by 100. And now we just want to use the volume slice node which is usually creating a colored mesh, but we can switch it to a volume just representing the actual values. When you move the offset, you can go from all the way back from minus one to the front positive one. This is the parameter we want to control in our batch process later on. But for now, let's just append a null node called out underscore vol. And this two-dimensional volume should be read into a COP network, which is the compositing context, and there's a SOP import node. And you would switch to the composite view or create a viewer to read that into pixels. So we are referring to the service operator called out underscore vol and set the resolution from SOPS. So we now have a channel called capital C and under image you can also switch this to C only. So we just have the color information. Other than that, you should see that the image resolution is now matching the volumes resolution by middle mouse clicking on the VDB node. You will see that this is true. Inside the copnet, we can also append a null node, activate it and call it out. So we would reference to this output in a top net. So this is the top network where we can automate things the local scheduler I only changed to using all CPU cores less one, so it's faster. And then I will do two things. I will set the offset using a wedge node. And the other thing I will do is I will read in my composite view and save it out as image. Now the wedge node, we start by adding an attribute called offset, which should range from minus one to plus one. And here you can define the number of slices you want to create. I want to use the volume resolution for that. So there's an expression called volume res, and we would refer using dot dot slash dot dot slash, we would refer to the VDB from polygons node. The first primitive is the volume, and then you can choose two for the Z component. Zero would be X, one would be Y, and two is the Z component. In order to check that, you see that now we have 233 slices. You can go up and middle mouse on the VDB again, and this is matching with the Z resolution of the volume. Now, in order to create these wedges, you would, or these attribute offset values, you can press Shift V on your keyboard or right click on the node and say dirty and cook. 
Now what you should see if you click on one of these dots twice, you should see the offset value starting from minus one up to one. And there's also a wedge index, which is basically the job number for us. The job number will be referred to later, but now we want to make sure that the offset attribute is being used on the volume slice node. So you would write capital P at offset, capital P indicating that this is a PDG attribute. And if you middle mouse click on the word offset, you see the current value and you can change the jobs here. And there's also a table icon where you can read all the jobs like their wedge index number along with the offset value that is going to be used. The next step inside the top net would be a ROP composite output node, which is then referring to an external COP. And you remember the out uh, null node we had in the COP net. This is what we're going to use. We keep it at its natural resolution. And the only thing I may not want is um, that it's creating an alpha plane, but I don't think we have any. And other than that, we can uh, just start the job by pressing Shift V. It's just one thing we should keep in mind. At the moment, the hip file is not saved and this would be relevant for the output file path. So let's rather save it. I will call mine vol to image. And so the first part should be clear. Then there's a render folder uh, and I will add slices slash so within that render folder I get a folder called slices and I wouldn't want the hip name the current node name and the current frame number included what I would rather want is the word or the name image underscore and then I would like to add the at wedge index let's see how this turns out when I middle mouse click you see that at the moment it's not taking that number because what we need to do is put a backtick in front and after the word wedge index and press spacebar to make it work. So now it's correctly saying image 15, but one thing I don't like is if I click on the next job, you will see that now it's named image 187 and I would prefer to have a four digit number. So within that, Backticks, I say pad zero, which is an expression which can create, let's say, four digits, and then the wedge index. Close the bracket afterwards, and now if you middle mouse click on the output picture, we get image underscore zero one eight seven and so on. Yep, this seems to work, and now we can right click on the Rob composite and say dirty and cook this node. It will take a while to initialize, but then it will try to create 19 images at one, at once, depending on the number of cores. And you can then go inside your folder. There should be a new one coming up called Slices. And here are the first images coming in. And of course, in this case, EXR was used, but you can also use PNG or JPEG if you like. Now let's take one of those very advanced numbers here in order to check it quickly whether it works. But this would be the way how you can create an image sequence or slice images from a volume.